Hey guys, Jason, and today I bring you a story that's very fascinating. Finally, a process is out there to store information in a decentralized way using a blockchain. So way back when, when Bitcoin got started, we started you know, discussing the idea of the blockchain being one of the most fundamental important parts of Bitcoin and how you, know, you could, if you wanted to, encode information, very small data size wise, but encode information into the Bitcoin blockchain. And then we've had our sources come out with the idea of you know, decentralized storage. But by far the best one to come out so far is storage. Now, don't confuse it with storage, S-T-O-R-A-G-E. It's S-T-O-R-J, storage. And this is the first truly application-based decentralized blockchain storage solution. So here's how it works. Say you have extra spare space on your hard drive. You allow that space to be used by another user. It's encrypted, no one knows who it is, and it allows the decentralization. You get paid some money to either get coins of this special coin that's created with this, or you, you get credits of this coin to use to store your data elsewhere. So it's kind of like storing in the cloud, but a decentralized cloud. Eh, kind of like Bitcoin, the blockchain stored on every single computer, data will be kind of the same. Now, this is still in pre-alpha. Uh, it's got an opening now. They're doing stages A, B, and C of development, where if you own 10,000 of these coins, they let you start trying things out. Uh, normally, these co coins are owned by people that have started founding and help you know, crowdsource this project, but it's really cool. Now, I want to reference something. Uh, about six months ago, I told you guys I was invested in foreign coin because I thought foreign coin was a pretty great idea. It allows you to put transaction comments into the blockchain of foreign coin. And I thought that was kind of revolutionary. I talked about how I went through all the 300 some odd coins and it's probably now up to like five or 600 and how I try to look for unique things I thought would progress. And I said, I thought foreign coin would be one of those. Well, I'm proud to announce that storage has now decided to use foreign coins blockchain. So all this data and all this storage that's being used in this program, S-T-O-R-G-J, this storage, and I know it sounds just like the other word storage, is being used as a backbone of foreign coin. Now this is by far not the first video in this series. It is the first, but it, w it will progress because as this thing develops, there will be lots of more information coming out. One of the big things we got to realize is this is just the pre-alpha version. When it comes out to you know, public beta and anyone can use it and test it out, and when it comes into a final product, we're going to see revolutionary concepts. There's ideas out there before where you can share parts of your hard drive to get storage, but not in the decentralized, secure manner like storage provides. So I, I find this really interesting. There's a lot of news about it. They're talking about how it's you know, a killer app for the Bitcoin marketplace and community, and I agree. I know you guys, if you watch my podcast, I only did three episodes, but I talked about how the blockchain is so fundamentally important to Bitcoin and to all cryptocurrencies. And that's how I talked about some of these sources. You know, there are some coins out there, and I forget the name of it, but it allows you to store like up to like 25 gigabytes if you pay for it on the blockchain. And I discussed how that was too much, and it caused too much data to be you know, allocated with not enough allocation resource you know, division. But with storage, you pay for the amount of data you use. So if you use 25 kilobytes, you pay accordingly. If you use two megabytes, you pay accordingly. And you know, statistically, not statistically, but you know, formatively, you're gonna pay more for the larger data sets or data sizes. This is kind of interesting because it's an actual application base that's out there in the wild today. It's being tested, which means it's coming out, you know, they're predicting the middle of 2015 um, is their goal. The, um, you know, um, alpha A, B, and C testing will be done by the end of February 2015. It's going to be really interesting. Now, I will note, they said, you know, that this is, you know, again, just testing stages, but they say it's all looking promising. The people I've talked to that have actually used this say it's very UI or GUI, you know, interfacing. GUI is graphic user interfacing, meaning it looks very nice. It's not, you know, all these, like, codes and stuff. It's a very nice layout. And because it's a nice layout means it can be used by the average person, which is always a big plus because if the average person can, you know, get on and use this, it means that it brings more mass adoption. And when you get more mass adoption, you seem to bring more people in the cryptocurrency world and marketplace. So I think this is a great killer app, like they've said in, you know, in the reviews of this, and I can't wait to see what it does. But I just want to inform you guys what storage is, and you guys just go check it out. It's pretty cool. Have a great day.